Hey everybody, today I am talking to you guys and I'm showing you guys what my hair care routine is, the products that I use, how I style my hair. I'm gonna do my best to answer all the questions you guys have asked me over a long period of time about my hair and what I do with it and how I keep it so healthy and how I achieve the style in which I usually have my hair in when it's styled. <laughs> Just all those sorts of things. I'm gonna do my best to answer them today and then I will show you how I actually style my hair as well. So my typical hair routine is I wash my hair once every two weeks. This was not on purpose. I wasn't like, you know what, it'd be a great idea if I wash my hair once every two weeks, so I'm just gonna do that. It was like I used to wash my hair every single day, and then I had a kid, and then it was like every second day, and then it quickly became like every third day, and then it became once or twice a week, and then once a week, and then about like six months to a year ago, I think, I sort of discovered that I could wash my hair even less so I wash my hair once every two weeks yes it does get greasy yes it does get oily however I do use certain things to just give it some life until I wash my hair my hair used to be greasy and oily on like day three of washing my hair if I didn't wash it and now unless I'm doing something out of the ordinary or I'm just like exerting myself I could go a week before putting dry shampoo or another product in my hair that helps to soak up those oils it'll still look fresh it'll still Still look nice after a week and then usually after that week you'll notice probably if you're on my Instagram stories my hair is always back I always have it back in a low bun or a messy bun it's one or the other and it stays like that for a week until I wash it and then we get back to this <laughs> and I get to have nice pretty hair for a couple days and we're back to salvaging I have naturally thick hair I have a lot of hair and I have thick hair. So a big reason as to why I only wash my hair every two weeks is because I only want to style it once every two weeks because that's all I have the time for. With three kids and another one less than three months away, I don't have the time to be styling my hair every week or every couple days. It just doesn't work for me. Why is it getting dark? It's getting dark. There, let's do that. That's better. It's more of a convenience thing for me to not wash my hair except for once every two weeks. And honestly, if my hair is greasy, I I just don't care anymore. I'll throw either like a baby powder in. I use the Hello Bello baby powder. I'll throw that into my hair if I want to just soak up some of the oils or if I want to give my hair a little more volume, I will use a dry shampoo. I just don't care if my hair is a bit greasy. And if anyone looks at my hair and goes, wow, like my hair is so greasy. If they look a little bit lower, they're gonna see three little people and a pregnant belly and we'll go oh you look great <laughs> every two weeks when I do wash my hair it's quite a treat <laughs> I do want to make a point that I shower almost every single day I throw my hair up in a messy bun so that my hair doesn't get wet but I do take showers very often I just don't wash my hair very often the older I get the more I want to take care of myself a year ago I did not care about my hair I didn't use a heat protectant spray I used use the cheapest shampoos and conditioners I could find at just like my local grocery store. So like the horrible products you're not supposed to use, I use them because I was like, it cost me a dollar fifty for this. I like that. As I've gotten older, like I said, like I, I want to take better care of myself. That was doing things like switching from a lot of chemical cleaners to more natural cleaners. And then my skin, I thought, you know what? I've got great skin now, but that may not last forever. So I want to take better care of my skin. So then I started investing a little bit more in taking care of my skin. And then in the last year, it has gone from my skin to my hair. And I want to take better care of my hair. And I don't want to use these products anymore that are causing damage, that are leaving behind like waxes and linings and just like stuff that I don't want. Beverly's having her quiet time and she's right there. So just if you hear her squealing, that's what that is. It's joy, straight up joy. So the last time I got my hair done, I talked to my hairdresser and I said, look, it's for a while. I've been wanting to make a change and use products that are good for my hair that are much better for my hair than the cheapest brands I can find at the grocery store so all of these products are strictly I'm using them because I was recommended them from my hairdresser so I don't use this very often I use this once every like three or four washes and it is a sea salt scrub cleanser so when I'm taking a shower I will get my hair all wet and then I will grab a little bit of this just to tiny amount and it feels like a normal exfoliant but kind of spongy and then I will just rub it through my hands and 
rub it through my hair and I'll scrub it into just my roots. I never bring scrubs or shampoos down to my ends. I only ever focus on my scalp. What this does is it removes any kind of like pollutants or buildup or just like other things from let's say from dry shampoo that I've been using for the past two weeks or from the baby powder that I've been using or from the waxiness of the shampoo I'm still currently using that I got from the drugstore because I have buildup of like all these shampoos that I still have to use up before I go on to my nice shampoo. So this just basically cleans your hair out from all of that stuff. I definitely notice a difference in the feeling of my hair, especially at my scalp when I started using this. I remember my hairdresser showing them to me and me being like, there's not a lot of product in there and it is more expensive because it's a good product. And so the budgeter saver, no spender part of me was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna spend that much. But because you're using a tiny amount, if I'm using this much out of this smaller container, it's actually gonna last me a lot longer than the other bottles I get from the grocery store where I have to use like this much in order for it to even somewhat get all of my hair. This is the first thing I use and it is by Devine's. Actually, all these products are Devine's because the hairdresser I go to, I think they I think they only use Devine's. They might have some other ones. I think their main hair product is Devine's. So I start off with a scrub and then I move into the shampoo, which currently happens to be Garnier or something. It was, it was the cheapest bottle at the time. And I'm trying to get through that so that I think I have one more shampoo bottle after that that I have to use up and then I get to use my nice fancy Devine shampoo. So after I have scrubbed all that shampoo through just my scalp again I do not bring it down to my ends I keep it just at my scalp and I rinse it out here's another thing guys not only does styling take a long time for me because of how much hair I have washing my hair takes so long I'm not gonna lie I have cried at different points usually when I'm on my period when I'm taking a shower and washing my hair because my arms are tired it's taking so long and it's so hard to get into the back of my head to get the product there and it takes it just takes so long to get it in and to get it out and <laughs> So it's a long process for me, okay? To wash my hair is a long process. To style my hair is a long process. It's a double long process. Anyways, after I have done my shampoo, I go in with my conditioner, again, Devine's, with Ruku oil. It's called the Absolute Beautifying Conditioner. It's for all hair types. This stuff is nice. Again, I just have to use a tiny amount. So I'll take just a little bit in my hand and I focus it on my ends. I don't bring it up to the top of my head. I focus it in on my ends. I'll probably apply it at around this point here and I will scrunch my hair with it. I don't want to run my fingers through at that point because there is a lot of tangles in my hair after shampooing. I really want the product to sink in before I even try to brush my fingers through my hair if I even do that in the shower. And plus the product if I put it up here, it's going to make its way down to my ends. It's not going to stay here. So as I put that through my hair and I let it sit, I don't rinse it out right away. I prefer to, you know, do everything else, you know, shave my underarms or exfoliate my legs and wash my body and, and all that before I even come close to rinsing it out. The last thing I do in the shower is rinse out the ends of my hair and I I don't know if um if this actually does anything or not. I've done it for years and in my head I feel like it should make sense and that's just kind of like well yeah but maybe it's not. I like to turn the temperature of the water a little bit cooler. I like to have my hot showers but when I go to rinse out the conditioner for my hair I like to make it a little more cold. Not like freezing cold but kind of like a refreshing cold. I feel feel like in my head that helps to lock in the moisture a little bit better. I could be totally wrong. Again, I'm not a hairdresser. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I only know because my hairdresser tells me or I read the labels and that's it. Once I'm out of the shower, I do not rub my hair like this. I take the towel and I scrunch it and I let it air dry. I do not have a hair dryer. I have never had a hair dryer. The last time I used a hair dryer was when I lived at my parents' house before I got married. It's been a long time. I just let my hair air dry. That's it. And I always make sure to use a detangler spray as well because my hair can get so tangled and obviously starting from the ends and working my way up. 
And to be real with you guys, the detangler spray I use is Hello Bello, because that's what I have for my kids, and I'm like, might as well use it for me. That is my like washing hair routine. As I get closer to washing my hair again, so usually like two days before I'm washing my hair, I will put oil oil in my hair. Um, just at the ends, an absolute beautifying potion, because that makes sense. It is a multi-purpose oil treatment ideal for all hair types. I just put this on my ends because I feel like it just gives it not like a conditioning because a moisturizer and oils are different. I was told by my hairdresser that this is a good thing to put on as you're getting close to washing your hair. I, you know, to be completely honest, I can't remember the exact reasons in which to use this. It has something to do with making your hair look lovely when you're getting close to washing it because it looks like crap usually at that point. It just makes me feel better that I put this through my ends and maybe that's why my ends feel so healthy is because I use this. And last but not least, which is what you will see me using today, is a hair shield. Nothing fancy about it. It's just a heat protectant spray. It protects your hair from heat. And that concludes all of my hair products. <laughs> and now guys, we are going to jump in and we are going to go back in time a little bit to a few hours ago when I actually styled my hair. And you guys can see exactly how I style it, how I go about it, how I section it, and the different heat tools that I use in order to achieve this look. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I could be so wrong on everything that I do and the comment section on this video could simply be people telling me like, Rachel, you are doing it so wrong. <laughs> and that's okay, if I'm doing it wrong, I love to learn. And maybe this will be a great way for me to learn how to do things better, but here we go. <laughs> Okay, curling my hair. <laughs> the reason I only ever like style it once every two weeks is because it takes so long. And it could be because I don't know the technique. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really, really know nothing. There could be so many different ways to do this faster. I don't know it. So <laughs> this is just how it is. So I washed my hair last night and I let it dry overnight. I really am happy actually with how how it dried this time around. Sometimes when my hair dries naturally, it is just like an absolute craze fuzzball. It looks terrible. I actually didn't do that bad this time around. It looks quite smooth, which is nice. So before I even go near my hair with hot tools, I'm gonna use a, a heat protectant, a hair shield, and I'm just gonna spray this all throughout. I always like to brush it through afterwards, just I, I don't know if it helps disperse the product but in my head I feel like it does. And then I'm going to wait until the spray dries. I don't want my hair to be wet when I do this. So the hot tools I use, this is Eon and it's just a straightening iron. It was literally the cheapest. <laughs> it works fine. You can't do any kind of curling with this straightener I've noticed. So if you want a straightening iron that can also curl, this is not the one for you. I have it set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then and I have the Helen of Troy professional curling wand iron. This used to be a curling iron, which my sister actually used to own this. And she took the clamp thing off. So it's like a wand now. I think this is like one and a half inch. The reason I use this is because my sister gave it to me for free an eternity ago. And it still works. And um, I just don't want to spend money on another one. <laughs> Maybe some lovely like hair product, hair tool company would love to sponsor me after this video. So the product appears to be quite dry on my head, which is great. I need to use two clips because I have so much hair. If you don't believe I have a lot of hair, here's a story telling you how much hair I have. Uh, one time I went and got a partial foil done at my normal hair salon. The hairdresser was like appointment, appointment, appointment. She didn't have any blocks of like free time in between appointments. So she really was limited to how how much time she could spend on my hair. She was extremely proud of herself for getting partial foils done within a certain amount of time that is normally allotted for partial foils. However, she told the receptionist to put down on my file to give an extra half an hour to 45 minutes for foils because I have so much hair. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. First off, what I like to do is just go on the top of my head and straighten it through a little bit. Usually I have this crinkle 
almost right to the root and that's what I, I want to get rid of before I go in with my curling iron but I don't have very much of that today I try not to go too far down my hairline just because this is all gonna get the hot iron on it anyways reason that I do this first is just because when I do the curls I don't want to then take half of a curl and separate it in order to straighten it I'd rather just get the straightening portion done now and then when I do the curl it can stay there and I'm not playing with it more than I have to. I just feel like there are so many people <laughs> gonna leave comments and be like man you have no idea what you're doing which is totally accurate but I find it also amazing how many different opinions there are out there. I've heard different opinions for hair from different hairstylists. I feel like with a lot of things in hair there isn't a like one specific way. Some things there is like one way to do it and then in other things it's like to each their own kind of a deal. So I'm just gonna start from the front on my left front side and then I work my way back and around and all of the pieces on this side I curl away from my face and then once I get to the back but not like right center because I'm right handed around here I will flip my curl so that it's going the opposite way so that it's going away from this side of my face I twist my hair as I wrap it and I always leave out the end I never want the end to be draped right across I leave as you can see quite a bit of room that makes it look a little bit more of like a beachy wave to me but then also uh, helps just to protect my ends some more here's my curl I do not use hairspray I don't like the smell of the chemicals in my hair especially if I'm holding my little kiddos because I don't use a hairspray I do try to hold my curl in the iron for a bit longer just so that it has a better hold again I could be saying all this stuff and and all the hairdressers out there or anyone who has some common hair knowledge might be like this is all lies I have no idea I like to work in small sections I don't care too much about the bottom section just because it's gonna be on the bottom and no one's gonna really see it and then as I work my way up through the different sections of my hair I will put a little more effort and a little more thought into like where I'm grabbing the section and where I'm starting the curl and depending on the size of the section I'm I'm curling I'll either hold it between like 12 to 20 seconds I would say I've done enough on this side work my way over here now so I'll start from the back and then I change up how I do my curl so now I'm gonna curl the opposite way away from the right side of my face okay so now what I'm gonna do grab a new section here's the reason why I use two clips I cannot stand having to pull my hair away from curls constantly especially when I can't see it so I'm going to section off here at the corner, not really a corner, but you know, the corner of my head. I'm gonna take this, put this down here, and then I'm going to clip off this section just so that it's out of the way. It just feels a lot cleaner to me if I clip away that section. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start from the back corner here and work my way forward. I try to keep the sections closer to my face a bit smaller just because those are going to be sections that people will see a little more and those are the pieces that will also be framing my face. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do the back section. this one on its own and then section off this side so that once I've done curling this side I just have over on the left side of my head to do which this will be another like three layers at least <laughs> this is where I'll also do smaller sections because this is the top layer this is just like the most awkward position <laughs> Okay, so now that that side is done, I can focus just on my left side. And so basically, I'm just going to crawl all the way up doing a few different layers, probably three, maybe four. just 
because this is a little bit too thick at the top. Once I get to the front, I don't want this section to be split in half. I want this to be full. So I'm gonna go up. This will probably be the, that last front section. And then I'm going to split it in half from there. Almost there. <laughs> curling my whole head. Depending on the day, if I have time, I like to just leave it like this for a little bit so that the curls can really set into how they are. And then after a little while, I'll like roll my fingers through it and just kind of brush it out very loosely, shake it out a little bit so the curls don't look as structured. They look more beachy, more wavy, and just a little more soft. But for the sake of YouTube, I'm gonna do that right now. So this is what I was going for, is that these curls all come together in the same spot. It just, it looks clean. I like the look of that. Um, and I like how it frames my face as well. So that, like I said before, I don't put hairspray in it. I don't put any product in it. I just leave it like this. And that's everything, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it answered some of your questions. I didn't think I would ever film this video because like I have said so many times throughout this video, I feel like I don't have experience with hair. I'm not a hairdresser. I have no knowledge with it. Only what is kindly explained to me by my hairdresser. And so I, I didn't really want to post something in which I have no knowledge in, but I think because I've had so many people ask what my hair care routine is, how I style my hair, etc, etc. I figured, you know what? You guys probably don't care if I know anything or not. You're just curious as to what I do. And as long as I'm being honest in the fact that I don't know anything, that's all that really matters. <laughs> I'm not going to sit over here and pretend like I know everything about hair. So yeah, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and I will see you in my next video.